If there's one thing electric car drivers know all too well, it's battery concerns. And that's exactly where Tesla decided to attack with full force. During a relaxed interview on Jay Leno's show, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering, Lars Moravi, dropped one of those bombshells that almost goes unnoticed. The brand's new nickel battery is four times more durable than the current ones. It's no exaggeration. This improvement means less wear, more reliability, and, above all, more freedom for those who live with one eye on range and the other on the battery's health chart. And the trick lies in cathode doping. Tesla found a way to reinforce the cell's internal structure using metallic elements that act as chemical stabilizers. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's real and already in an advanced stage of application. Previously, batteries maintained about 83% of their charge over time. Now, that number has risen to an impressive 91%. This may seem small at first glance, but it represents a huge difference when we're talking about hundreds of recharge cycles over the years. The most direct consequence of this innovation is that Tesla can safely increase the recommended daily charge from 80% to 90%. It may seem like a small detail, but anyone who drives a Tesla knows how much this affects daily life. Charging to 80% was a way to preserve battery life, but it also limited the range available on longer trips. With this change, drivers gain more range without compromising long-term performance. It's the kind of advancement that improves life without requiring a single understanding of chemistry. This decision to release 90% is the result of extensive research into battery performance over time. Tesla wouldn't do this if it didn't have confidence in the numbers. And this kind of confidence isn't born from guesswork, but from exhaustive testing, field records, and, of course, extensive materials research. This new nickel-doped battery proves to be a solid bridge between what we have today and what's to come. It's not a generational leap, but a profound improvement on an already mature technology. For those considering upgrading their car, or buying their first electric vehicle, this news has very direct implications. First, it means that the resale value of models equipped with this battery tends to be higher, as wear and tear will be reduced over the years. Second, it represents practical savings, fewer replacements, less maintenance, and less headaches. And this, in the end, translates into money in your pocket. Not to mention the peace of mind of being able to trust that the car will maintain its performance over the years, even after many, many recharges. There's also an interesting environmental impact. A longer-lasting battery means less waste, less need for metal mining, and less impact on the vehicle's life cycle. This kind of improvement isn't just a benefit for the end consumer, but also for the planet as a whole. And while this isn't a popular argument among budget-conscious buyers, it's undeniable in an industry that tries to market itself as truly green. And the curious thing is that Tesla didn't make a fuss about this information. There was no press conference, no grand promotional video. It was during a casual chat with Jay Leno that the information was dropped as if it were nothing. This tactic of dropping news in the middle of casual conversations has become a Tesla standard, and it seems to work well. The more attentive public picks up these nuggets of gold and spreads them like wildfire, while the more unsuspecting don't even realize what happened. The new nickel battery, with its extended lifespan and new charging range, may not seem as flashy as a complete revolution in cell technology, but for everyday users, it's one of the most significant improvements in recent memory. It's like replacing your car's heart with one that beats stronger, longer and with less effort. And that's precisely where a transformation begins that goes far beyond what meets the eye. The secret behind this entire transformation lies in a technical detail few people notice, cathode doping. It may seem like a complicated term, but the logic is straightforward. Imagine the cathode structure as a metal mesh through which electrons circulate. Over time, this mesh wears down, losing strength and efficiency. What Tesla did 
was reinforce this structure with small doses of other metals, called dopants, that act as microscopic pillars, preventing the cell's natural degradation. It's a change invisible to the naked eye, but it completely changes the battery's behavior. This doping involves mixing up to four different elements into the cathode's active material. The exact combination is closely guarded, but the result is clear. The new batteries lose less than 5% of their capacity over time, compared to 20% for previous versions. This difference changes everything. It means that, over hundreds or thousands of recharges, the battery continues to deliver almost the same range as it did on day one. And, in a market where reliability is a key factor in purchasing decisions, this puts Tesla a few notches above the competition. Another advantage of this innovation is its performance under intense use. In high-demand situations, such as hard acceleration, long journeys, or extreme weather, doped batteries maintain superior stability. This ensures not only greater safety, but also more predictable power delivery. It's something the driver feels behind the wheel. Less performance drop, fewer unpleasant surprises. This type of refinement is typical of companies that understand that the real problem isn't just technical, but also user experience. And the interesting thing is that all of this happens without the need to reinvent the car's architecture. Tesla can apply this improvement to the cells without drastically altering the system as a whole. This means production costs remain under control, and the gains are passed directly to the consumer. And here comes a little discussed but very important point. This technology can also be adapted to other Tesla platforms, such as stationary batteries or solutions for homes and businesses. Cathode doping, therefore, extends beyond cars. Behind the scenes, Tesla has already filed a patent detailing the process, called Doped Cathode Active Material and Method of Implementation. This document explains how fine-tuning the chemical structure allows the cathode to withstand more charge cycles without breaking down. The language is dense, full of scientific terms, but the essence is simple. Tesla has managed to create a cathode that is more resilient to time and wear. And this, in an industry driven by cycles, is almost like mastering the electric car's own clock. There's also a strategic factor involved. By mastering this doping technology internally, Tesla becomes less dependent on external suppliers. It gains control over more stages of the production chain, meaning less risk of bottlenecks and delays, especially in times of global instability. And anyone who follows the industry knows, mastering the battery supply chain is one of the most powerful weapons on the electric vehicle board. In this game, whoever controls the cathode controls the game. Interestingly, this doping also paves the way for future adaptations with new materials. The same logic used to reinforce the cathode can, in theory, be applied to other types of batteries, including those Tesla is already developing with aluminum or sodium. This makes doping technology a kind of hidden track, where several innovations could flow in the coming years. It's like an invisible bridge between now and what's yet to come. As this technology advances, the perceived value of batteries begins to shift. They're no longer a disposable part with a short expiration date, but rather a robust, durable, and reliable component. This changes sales pitches, cost-benefit calculations, and even the culture of use. Electric cars are gradually no longer seen as an expensive experiment and are beginning to establish themselves as something that can truly last for decades with the same energy as their first day. While cathode doping strengthens the structure of current batteries, Tesla is already aiming for something even more ambitious, completely eliminating lithium's known limitations. And that's where aluminum ion technology comes in, a proposal that, if it works as promised, could dramatically change the electric vehicle market. The stakes are high, but they make sense. After all, while the entire industry is trying to reduce charging time by a few minutes, aluminum ion promises to do it in a matter of seconds. Literally, from 10% to 80% charge in just two minutes, 
faster than filling a tank of gas. This kind of advancement isn't just an improvement. It's a paradigm shift. Imagine a world where the act of waiting for the car to charge simply ceases to exist. Aluminum batteries don't require long stops at superchargers, nor complex thermal management to prevent overcharging. They operate safely under extreme temperatures, without the risk of explosion, without emitting toxic gases, and without the classic fear of thermal runaway. Seat. This represents not only a technological but also a psychological leap because it removes one of the public's biggest fears from the equation, battery insecurity. Furthermore, aluminum is the third most abundant metal in the Earth's crust, meaning a supply chain infinitely more stable and cheaper than that of lithium. While the world fights for lithium reserves in Bolivia, Chile, or China, aluminum can be found virtually anywhere and is even easily recycled. This reduces the final cost of the battery and also the pressure on mineral-rich territories, alleviating political and geopolitical disputes. An aluminum-based battery not only performs better, but also carries a more ethical and sustainable DNA. But it's not all sunshine and roses. The biggest technical challenge for the aluminum ion battery has always been energy density. While it charges quickly and lasts a long time, it has historically stored less energy per kilogram than lithium-ion batteries. This means that achieving the same range would require larger and heavier batteries, something that compromises the vehicle's design, performance, and even energy consumption. However, according to recent leaks and patents, Tesla appears to be changing this trend. The secret? A new cathode design using graphene structures and cutting-edge carbon composites. This approach would allow for more energy to be stored in less space while maintaining all the well-known advantages of aluminum ion. It's not just a promise. Early prototypes are showing results that put these batteries on par with, or even surpass, Tesla's current 4680 batteries, which currently power the Model Y and Cybertruck. And if these numbers hold true at scale, the impact will be difficult to measure. Another point worth noting is the production cost. Tesla estimates that a complete aluminum battery pack could cost around $1,750 per car, a drop of up to 75% compared to current lithium-ion systems, which range from $7,000 to $15,000. This not only makes the cars cheaper, but also changes the maintenance logic. These batteries can withstand millions of charge cycles. They could, theoretically, outlast the car itself. And who knows, they could even be reused in other vehicles at the end of the first one's useful life. Beyond passenger cars, this technology could redefine Tesla's entire ecosystem. Imagine aluminum ion batteries powering heavy trucks, electric planes, trains, or home storage systems. Their ultra-fast recharge times and thermal stability are ideal for applications where every second counts. In fact, Many speculate that Giga Texas is being prepared precisely to begin mass production of this type of cell in 2026, with a full focus on the new Model 2. If this happens, the market impact will be devastating. Automakers still trying to optimize their lithium-ion systems will be left behind. And consumers, accustomed to the idea that electric cars require patience, will discover that the future could be faster, safer, and much cheaper than previously imagined. The aluminum revolution isn't just a technical issue, it's a matter of time. And it seems that time is quickly running out for those who haven't yet started catching up. While aluminum emerges as a bet for extreme performance, Tesla is preparing another strategic move to conquer the market base, sodium ion batteries. The idea here isn't to impress with absurd charging speeds, but to deliver a rare balance between cost, safety, and efficiency, all with an abundant and inexpensive raw material, sodium, extracted from seawater. In times of global competition for lithium and cobalt, this approach almost sounds like a cry for independence. And for the average consumer, the point is that this could mean an electric car more affordable than ever. Sodium-ion technology is still underutilized by many automakers, 
but Tesla has decided to step up its game. With an energy density already close to that of iron phosphate, LLFP batteries, these new cells can deliver around 175 Wd, enough to guarantee real-world ranges of between 200 and 300 miles. It may not seem revolutionary at first glance, but when you consider the target audience, urban drivers, families, and commercial fleets, this range easily covers most daily commutes, and best of all, without breaking the bank. Another strength of these batteries is their resistance to extreme cold. While many lithium cells lose efficiency and even fail in sub-zero temperatures, sodium cells maintain their performance even at 40 degrees C. This makes them perfect for markets like Canada, Northern Europe, China, or even parts of South America, where the climate can be challenging. It's an advantage that, in practice, avoids headaches and increases user confidence. After all, no one wants to rely on luck when starting a car in a freezing winter. When it comes to charging speed, sodium also surprises. It promises 0 to 100% in just 4 minutes. That's right, a time that rivals lithium-fast charging, but without the thermal risks and lifespan limitations. With this, Tesla breaks another myth, that cheaper technologies necessarily deliver less performance. If this prediction comes true in the first models, many people will start to rethink their priorities when choosing an electric car. But perhaps the most profound impact is on production costs. Because sodium is extremely abundant and easy to extract, the cost per kilowatt hour plummets. This opens the door to a new category of electric cars with prices that truly compete with combustion-powered models, not only on paper, but also at the dealership. And this shift hits the heart of the market. Those who want to switch to electric, but can't afford to shell out $200,000 for a premium car. This technology's debut is expected to happen with the Model 2, Tesla's most affordable platform to date. And it makes sense. It's a model that seeks volume, not exclusivity. A car that promises to make electric vehicles a mass market product, not a niche one. And with a sodium battery, the Model 2 gains not only in cost, but also in robustness, safety, and ease of maintenance. It's the perfect recipe for fleet owners, ride-hailing drivers, young buyers, and families who've never considered owning a Tesla in their garage. In addition to passenger vehicles, Tesla also plans to use sodium batteries in trucks, vans, and even buses. In this type of application, the extra weight of sodium isn't a problem. What matters is the cost per kilometer and the ability to withstand intense recharge cycles. With over 10,000 cycles expected, these batteries are ideal for urban routes, last mile deliveries, and public transportation. It's a technology that can transform not only consumers' garages, but also urban logistics. The most curious thing is how each technology seems to occupy a specific space in Tesla's game plan. While aluminum targets performance and speed for premium models, Sodium fits perfectly in the entry-level and commercial segments. And while the company advances at both ends of the market, doping the cathode in nickel batteries ensures a smooth transition between the present and this future that is almost knocking at the door. Everything seems to be part of a larger engineering scheme, where nothing is being done by chance. This greater engineering begins to reveal its true face when viewed as a whole three distinct yet strategically complementary technologies, working side by side. While many automakers still struggle to extract greater efficiency from conventional lithium-ion batteries, Tesla is preparing a three-pronged approach that could redefine the electric vehicle market as a whole. Nickel doping improves the current base, aluminum-ion advances into high-performance territory, and sodium-ion democratizes access to electric vehicles. It's a multi-layered plan, 